Hey YouTube, it's always your me and I have a video out asking you guys for your questions and I've only really gotten two and I think they're just, you know, regular questions that people might have before surgery and also like an update question I guess because I guess I don't give the answer to this but okay so one of the questions I got were about my piercings I don't hide them very well one is in the front of my face one is in my tongue and I can't really hide it when I speak I just free free ball it so you have to remove all of your piercings before surgery um, and I guess they give you the option like if you're doing well after the surgery you could put them in I personally didn't you know I wanted to make sure that I was fine for 24 hours after the surgery because I didn't want them to end up cutting them off or me having to fiddle with them because we're going right back into surgery etc so if you guys have piercings and you're worried about them closing or anything like that ask your surgeon about putting in a retainer which is uh, made of silicone and that shouldn't affect um, the surgery in any way I think that more the mouth was a concern for the intubation and also concern if something happens and I have to go straight into like an x-ray or MRI or anything like that you can't have anything metal in your mouth or on you on your person so I say uh, take them all off if you're worried about uh, the whole closing then just ask your surgeon about putting in a retainer which is a silicone um, earring basically it's just a silicone earring you place there also uh, ask the piercer that you're purchasing the retainer from how long you could keep it in so if it's uh, only a couple of hours and that'll be perfect because the surgery is only a couple of hours and then you could switch it out um, the second question I got was about my clothing size I have not purchased any clothing since the surgery i have been starting a clothing pile in which clothes fit me a little big before the surgery so now they're extremely loose or big and i cannot wear those anymore but for the most part even though things are a little looser i still wear them like that i mean it looks fine before you could see my tire and now it just fits me i guess correctly or better um, my mom did send me a pair of jeans that fit her big and they were a size 20 and I could not believe that they went up and closed I mean I was a size 22 24 before so I guess it's not that drastic a difference but um, when they went right up buckled and zipped I was like oh my gosh I really am losing inches and weight um, they're still a little tight even though because my skin now is pliable and mushy so I could stuff it into those jeans button it zip it but it's still a little tight so I think I'm still like I'm probably like a 21 if that was the actual size some clothing companies do do those mid those odd number sizes but anyway um, for the tops, I usually would get a 30-32, which is a 4X. Um, right now, I could probably fit a 24-26, um, but I don't mind bigger tops. Um, as long as they don't look like a bag and they like form me somewhat, then I'm fine. But what I think I'm gonna do for now is just wear my mom's old clothes because she's losing weight now too so it's sort of like I'm what's the word I am an inspiration to her to lose weight as well without the surgery so as she loses weight and shrinks out of her clothes 
I will wear those clothes until they're too big and then I guess I have no other option than to buy some clothes but if I don't have to buy them until I'm the size I'm supposed to be I rather not I don't want to waste that money knowing that I'm just gonna shrink out of them um, so yeah so I guess my clothing size has gone down like a size or two um, I think Oh, and I think someone also asked me about uh, calorie counting. I am very open in saying that I do not count my calories at all. I eat when I'm hungry and I eat so little. If I did count my calories, it would probably be way under 500. Because the things I eat are fruit, yogurt, meat cheese is not no bread no rice no pasta and if i have it it's with dinner and literally i would rather eat whatever meat they serve me so i put like a spoonful of that so if somebody wants to write the calculation of a spoonful of rice or pasta etc etc in the comments below i mean i'll check it out I'll love to see what that is but yeah I do not count calories I am the reason for the surgery was for me to eat less and I am doing that and still losing weight so I don't count calories at all um, the next two videos I think I'm gonna do it are the steps I took for the insurance like for your insurance to cover the surgery what kind of things you have to do for them and also choosing the right surgery for you there are, I know that the sleeve is like a popular option right now but the surgeries there are many surgeries and different surgeries and you have to pick the one that will benefit you the most in the long run so I'm going to do a video on that too. But yeah. Um, like always, please leave your questions below. Especially if you're just interested in the surgery process. Or you're about to have surgery and you have a question. Um, I have a whole load of videos out there ready answering probably some of the questions you might have if you're going to have surgery. Um, so yeah. Just uh, let me know. I am open to any question, really, any question. I'll try to answer it for you. And yeah, like always, talk to you guys later. Bye.